Hey guys, welcome to ChessRoots.com. Today in this live class, uh, I'm gonna show you a game played between uh, uh, Sokolo Ivan and Stephenson Hintz in Eric Wedgwick Open 2013. Okay, D4, Knight F6, C4, E6, Knight C3, Bishop B4, E3. This was a Nimjo Indian and Castle shot Bishop D3. Now, as we learn in many classes, the idea of Nimjo Indian is simply uh, black tries to occupy the E4 square, whereas white will not uh, uh, will try to uh, play E4 at any cost, uh, irrespective of the position. If white gets E4 without any problem, then white is better. So d5 not allowing to play e4. So a3 bishop into c3, b into c3, c5, c into d5. Now here there are uh, uh, mainly there are two variations. One is queen into d5 and e into d5. So in this way game he played queen into d5. Queen into d5 uh, is also uh, okay for blank because uh, it doesn't want to keep an isolated pawn, isolated d5 pawn. Knight f3. Now white is simply trying to castling and protect this g2 pawn. C into d4. Here, uh, most of the uh, amateur level will mostly capture with uh, c into d4. Now, for example, uh, let us see c into d4 and they'll think this uh, pawn chain is pretty good and white really don't have any problem so for that uh, white will get a counter chances with knight c6 knight a5 like things and sometimes e5 is also possible after knight c6 so there are some problems with uh, c into d5 but Position is uh, uh, pretty uh, white is slightly better even in C into D5. So here he captured with E into D5. Uh, Sokalo Ivan is a very good uh, positional player. The reason why he captured with E into he simply wants to uh, keep these pawns as a hanging pawns. Hanging pawns are as we discussed in the uh, long uh, long back that hanging pawns are good and they are also bad in some positions but here in this position white will have a good, good great control in the center and he also opens this bishop uh, diagonal so this position e into d5 is good uh, he, he can even support with the c4 and bishop b2 maybe uh, so let us see the game b6 now black simply wants to play bishop b7 and keep a I on g2 c4 not allowing uh, this queen to stay on d5 queen d6 castle shot bishop b7 now he's simply threatening bishop into f3 after queen into f3 queen into d4 so bishop b2 supporting this d4 pawn bishop e4 trying to exchange the strong bishop on d3 uh, but I I think this bishop on b7 is equally good with bishop on d3. So I think black could have played a moves like uh, knight d7 maybe uh, or uh, even rook d8. So bishop e4 is equally good. Bishop into e4. Knight into e4. Now here Sakalo just simply wants to activate this bishop, this bishop diagonal. So he pushed d5 now after d5 knight c5 was played and knight d4 a very good way to activate his pieces now white is simply after uh, black cannot capture e into d5 because after knight f5 uh, there is not much to analyze this position white will simply gain advantage even after c into uh, knight f5 
so he ca uh, he captured uh, he played knight bd7 rook e1 rook e8 now now black simply tries to play uh, e into d5 maybe he simply wants to uh, play something like uh, to open this rook file so knight b5 attacking the queen on d6 and after queen b8 d6 now this pawn uh, blocks all the movements of black and not allowing black to open up this rook file this both rooks on e8 and f8 are a little bit passive now he can even jump a square like knight c7 later and mostly this bishop diagonal is uh, open for white so e5 he simply wants to close this bishop diagonal and later maybe he can play more like f6 and reduce this bishop uh, on b2 knight c7 rook d8 here i think he played a very good positional move f4 Black white is not allowing to close this diagonal after e into f4 he can simply play a move like queen g4 eyeing on g7 and f4 so e4 and queen g4 now after e4 if white allows black to play a move like f5 then black position is uh, very solid and there is nothing much about white can do in this position so uh, queen g4 f6 was forced to play rook a t1 now rook f7 was played now black is threatening a um, move f5 trying to drive over this queen and um, and support this pawn on e4 later he can sit uh, this knight to d3 so now black is simply threatening f5 later he can play this move up line knight d3 and he can exchange this bishop on uh, b2 maybe so uh, to prevent that if you play a move like uh, f5 from white he'll simply you can set uh, this knight on d7 to e e5 so there is no way what white can play push f5 and close this uh, uh, important diagonal either and this knight on uh, d7 will sit on e5 so here white played uh, another good position more rook d5 preventing f5 so knight f8 was played and f5 now the reason why here he played f5 is simply uh, he wants to play more like knight e6 and he'll get two connected pawns on d6 and e6 which one of the pawn will threatening a piece so rook into d6 was forced to play in this position after rook into d6 rook into d6 queen into c7 rook g2 now in this position uh, uh, white is having an exchange up but black has enough compensation for this he, just, he simply needs to activate his pieces uh, knight f d7 now is uh, threatening to play maybe knight e5 and sits one knight on d3 such that uh, uh, white don't really have any good chance for counter so queen g3 exchanging the queens and going to an end game queen into g3 h into g3 rook e7 now rook e7 black white is simply threat black is simply threatening to play knight e5 to d3 so rook d5 if he plays knight e5 white can simply capture bishop into e5 and this uh, two pawns will be very weak e4 or e5 that position with g4 white will be a clearly better even he can play it uh, most like uh, uh, rook into e4 maybe sometime doubling the rook and take this pawn on e4 so king f7 
king f1 knight d3 rook b1 h5 king e2 h4 now white cannot take uh, g, uh, g into h4 in view of uh, knight f4 check and knight into uh, d5 so bishop d4 h into g3 king e3 now black is uh, having two pawns but white is having enough compensation to counter this g5 fg6 king into g6 now black will try to play more like f5 supporting this pawn on e4 if that happens uh, black have achieved something and there is no way that white can break this e4 pawn later so rook f1 so um, here he played uh, knight in 3 e5 now he's he simply play, want to play f5 so king into e4 going to a discover check but this move is practically forced to take or else f5 black could have given a good fight knight, uh, knight into c4 black really don't have any good option he won't get anything then a pawn king in king f4 now is also threatening king into g3 king f7 uh, here black cannot capture this knight into a3 in view of uh, rook a1 and rook into a7 this d7 knight is pinned so black will simply lose the game if you capture knight into a3 king f7 supporting the rook on e7 now he can capture knight into a3 now a4 king e6 and rook h5 knight d into knight d5 king into g3 here he played rook d7 here white played uh, rook f4 a very good move the reason why he played rook d4 uh, rook f4 is simply not allowing black to give any counter chances if black rook enters to d2 or d3 uh, there are many problems for black uh, that the position is not so easy to win this um, because of these two pawns and two knights on e5 and c4 black will uh, get some advantage with these two knights on so rook f7 king h3 knight g6 rook f1 knight e7 uh, he simply wants to eliminate this uh, weakness by playing f5 maybe and after f5 this rook on h5 uh, will become little weak so rook e1 check king g7 g4 now g4 is also preventing now f5 so knight d6 and rook f1 now this pawn on f6 is uh, terribly weak knight e4 and rook f4 here black just resign so this was a very good game uh, played between Sokolo Ivan and Stephen Hans. The reason why I'm showing this game is simple. Uh, most of the uh, YouTube and the video makers in YouTube, they often do the videos of a top grandmasters, high level and world champions about 2700. They often won't do any videos with a low rated or even a grandmaster level. This is a good game of a great grandmaster and I want to show this just not for viewers or uh, to gain any subscribers or anything but please if you like your my videos just don't forget to subscribe and please leave the comments okay see you in the next uh, video